Hello, hello. Welcome on in. My name is Kendra Leaf. You can call me Kenjo. And today I'll be walking you through all 137 artifact spots in Inuzuma. Now with this voiceover, my goal is to try to walk you through the routes I take and uh, give you a little bit more info on how to maximize the amount of artifact spots you can get in a day. I also have a artifact spot video for the region of Liwei, um, so feel free to check that out as well. Um, I will say Inuzuma has a lot more spots than Liwei, and uh, it's a bit more complex on how to get all the spots in Inuzuma. Uh, so I highly recommend to listen to the voiceover for this video if this is your first time watching, um, as I'm going to go through a lot of a lot of information here on how to maximize the artifact spots here specifically in Inuzuma. Now first off, some basic information we're going to go over here first as we uh, <laughs> get stuck on this roof here. Um, artifact spots, I feel like they're the best way to use your free time in Genshin. These artifact spots give you a lot of artifact fodder that you can use to level up your, you know, unleveled artifacts, your plus zero artifacts. Try to see what that last substat is, see uh, what kind of potential you can get in an artifact. Because uh, a, a level zero artifact is uh, not going to be immediately good, right? You got to gotta see what the substats, uh, substat rules go into. And so I think uh, the artifact fodder you get here is incredibly incredibly valuable now here's one of the first kind of uh, hurdles of doing some of the Inazuma artifact spots uh, are these cannons um, some of these cannons reveal artifact spots in Inazuma so uh, make sure to pause this image right here and try to match the angle of this cannon you'll know if the uh, Angle was successful in revealing the artifact spot. If you see that little sparkle at the end of where the cannonball lands, uh, so just uh, make sure to match the angle, and then uh, you can just leave it at that angle. And every single time you log back in, it'll be the same exact angle. You won't have to change anything as you continue doing this uh, artifact spot again and again. Now while you're doing these artifact routes, you want to make sure that you're bringing the fastest team that you have. So as you can see here, I'm taking advantage of a uh, double Anemo, the, uh, the movement speed increase that you can get with uh, having two Anemo units in your team. So Kazuha, Sayu. Uh, Kazuha also with a passive talent that gives your team decreased stamina consumption. Uh, so allowing you to sprint more and whatnot. Um, and the Yelan here with her skill, Sayu as well with her skill, you'll see that I interchange between these characters quite often to make sure I cover as much ground as quickly as possible. I also have Deluc here because he's part of the tall male character model that exists in Genshin. And the taller the character you have, the more ground you cover when you sprint, when you run around. Now specifically for these artifact routes in Inuzuma, the only team requirements are going to be having at least one pyro character, um, either having an Enemo or Electro character, and having a Claymore character or someone who can break rocks for you in your team. Now there are some other characters you can bring in your team party. For example, Wanderer is probably the best character you can bring to any type of overworld exploration, um, any type of speed team, because Wanderer's skill is just honestly so good, covers so much ground, low cooldown, and if I wasn't trying to be more relatable here with this uh, with this artifact route video, I would definitely be bringing Wander here. Uh, he just makes these routes go by so much quicker. And honestly, maybe a hot take, 
but I think Wander is kind of a getting to that point where he's kind of a must pull. I mean, as close to a must pull character as you can get. Obviously, there are no must pull characters in Genshin, but yeah, I mean, Wander is just such a lifesaver for any type of uh, overworld exploration. Now, we already came across some of these uh, Tanukis earlier in this video, but uh, here, here we are encountering another one. And uh, yeah, this is uh, another kind of specialty of Inazuma. And uh, some of these Tanukis do reveal artifact spots, as you can see here. And uh, just some notes about them. Uh, you'll see me sometimes hitting them with uh, the loose claymore or Kazuha's sword. And for some reason, this uh, this actually <laughs> this actually is effective in trying to get the Tanuki to uh, teleport to their next spot. So yeah, I'm, I'm hitting them right there. It, it stops them from singing and then just has them uh, teleport to the next spot here. And uh, yeah, here, this is why um, a Claymore is uh, necessary. Now going back to some more general info about artifact routes. Um, you should know that there is a 100 daily reset investigation spot limit. So what that means is that within a day, like a daily reset before the, the day resets in Genshin, you're able to investigate 100 of these investigation spots. And um, if you try to go past that, you just won't have the option to investigate any of those spots so they i mean you wouldn't even see the sparkle there or, or whatever once you hit 100 you're not able to pick up any more investigation spots now this is important if you're trying to maximize the number of artifacts you get in a day because not all, not all investigation spots are created equal some of them give you energy some of them give you like i don't know cabbage some radishes carrots whatever so you'll want to make sure that you're only picking up, you're only investigating the spots that actually give you artifacts. Uh, because every missed investigation spot that uh, you end up picking up is uh, one less artifact you can get in a day. And while the 100 investigation spot limit resets with uh, the daily reset in game, the artifact spots themselves generally work off of a strict 24 hour respawn so if you were to pick up an artifact from an artifact spot and then the day resets the artifact spot wouldn't respawn right away you would have to wait a full 24 hours like irl for that artifact spot to come back and uh, for you to pick that spot again I know that there's some spots in Liyue that work off of a 12 hour respawn rate, not 24 hours. Um, I'm, I haven't really tested it out in Inuzuma. So my assumption is that they all work off of a uh, 24 hour respawn rate, but uh, feel free to let me know if any of those respawn in uh, less than 24 hours. So while it is possible to have one daily artifact route that you can do every single day, the 24 hour respawn rate kind of makes things a little bit difficult because then you would have to do your daily artifact route later and later because it's pretty tough to try to do your artifact routes at the same exact time every single day. But yeah, with all this information about the 100 artifact spot limit, the respawn rate for artifact spots, um, you can find an optimal route or maybe one or two daily routes that you can switch between uh, every day and uh, try to maximize the amount of artifacts you get for your Genshin account. Now, while I did mention that there is a 100 investigation spot limit, uh, it is possible to go past that. Now, I'm probably going to butcher the explanation on why exactly you can go past 100 investigation spots. Um, basically, when you spawn in in an area before reaching that 100 investigation spot limit, it spawns all the investigation spots in that specific area. So even if you were to hit 100 investigation spots while in that area, 
all the other investigation spots in that area are still active and you can still pick them up. Now later in the video, I'll be going over two such areas in Inazuma. Now the reason those two areas are really great is because they give you a lot of artifact spots in a single area. So if you truly wanted to maximize the number of artifacts you can get in a day, you would go to other areas, get 99 artifact spots, and then go teleport to one of these two areas, and then you'll be able to get way past 100 artifact spots in a day. Um, and also, uh, as you can see here, this is uh, <laughs> me running out of artifact inventory. This happens quite a lot as I do hoard a lot of artifacts. Uh, don't worry, I I'm working on it, all right? I'm working on it. I'm trying to slowly <laughs> get rid of some of these uh, artifacts in my inventory, but it's, uh, it's gonna be a long process for that. Now that's pretty much all the basic information about investigation spots, maximizing the amount of artifacts you can get in a day. Um, but as you see my routes here, you see the paths I take, I mean you don't have to follow these routes to a T, right? You can create your own routes, you know, maybe you don't want to go do 100 artifact spots in a day, maybe you don't have that kind of time, that kind of dedication, and that's completely fine, right? If you if you just want to go to certain spots, maybe skip a couple other spots, I mean, that's completely fine. Feel free to do whatever. I'm just here to showcase all the possible artifact spots you can find in Inazuma. Now, for example, this spot is uh, might not be worth it. It's a, a long trek to just get, I think, three artifact spots here, three investigation spots. And so if you find that some spots are just not worth it, just, just don't do that. I'm just here to showcase all the possible artifact spots you can get in Inazuma. And I'll just leave it up to you to try to find your optimal route, which ones you actually want to go for, uh, which ones are, you know, maybe more difficult, you skip. Yeah some that are just easier you end up doing now if you had wanderer here you could just float right across this uh this lake here uh i mean again this is uh this is just me trying to convince more people to uh to get wanderer he is honestly such a good character to use for these artifact routes a quick side note about this uh tanuki here is that sometimes he will get stuck in his original position. I think it's because he won't teleport to his next location if uh, those uh, those ruined sentinels, those ruined enemies, are too close to you. Um, just uh, if if he ends up like flipping in the same position and like not teleporting to the next location, just just keep on uh, <laughs> just keep on hitting him with uh, with a claymore or, or sword to just have him continue flipping and eventually he'll move to a spot where he's safe or like he's not next to uh, those ruined enemies and then you'll be able to continue the uh the the teleport routes or whatever from there now i've tried my best in trying to come up with the fastest way to do all of these artifact spots here but i mean there might be other ways there might be quicker ways to do certain artifact routes and whatnot uh, so don't take my word don't take the this video as you know just the the final truth right uh, i think even yeah i think even after i finished recording this video i find i found some uh, quick ways to do some routes uh i think there, there'll be an example later on uh, in the video uh, but my goal with this video is just to showcase all the spots. I'm I'm pretty sure I found all the spots here in Inuzuma, and it's kind of just up to you to create the routes that you want to use, go to the artifact spots that you want to, you know, investigate on a daily basis, whatnot. I mean, there are, I mean, 137 investigation spots for artifacts here in Inuzuma. So, um, you're, you don't have to use all of them. I mean, and also there's, a uh, there's 65 artifact spots in Liwei as well. So if you kind of just want to mix and match the two of them, 
you know, you don't need to go to all these spots here. Now, at this point, when I'm recording this uh, voiceover, I haven't done any uh, research into the Smeru artifact spots. I know that there's a ton and Smeru is a vast region. Uh, so maybe maybe I'll, I'll make that video in due time. A quick side note here, after this artifact right here, you can just climb up this wall to get to this ne next artifact spot that I'm running towards to right now. Um, again, another example of uh, something I later optimized a little bit better. Um, but uh, if, if this works out for you, I mean, again, at the end of the day, it's like such a small difference. Uh, that's It's kind of up to you which one is uh, better. If you have a slow computer or maybe you're playing on mobile device, uh, maybe you want to decrease the amount of times you have to teleport for less lag. Now, after we finish up the artifact spots, the artifact routes for this island here in Inazuma, uh, we'll be going into the two spots that are good to teleport into once you're at that uh, near that 100 artifact spot limit. Some notes about this is that uh, f specifically for Tanuki, if you're at the 100 artifact spot limit already, and you try to get a Tanuki to reveal an investigation spot, they won't actually. Even even if you've spawned into that area um, before you're hitting that 100 investigation spot limit. So make sure to uh, not include those Tanuki spots if you are trying to go past 100 investigation spots. Okay, so right here, this is the last spot here, and there will be a cut in the video. So this area here, Tatarasuna, has 21, I think, artifact spots that you can get um, in this area. So if you spawn into the area with like, you know, 98 to 99 artifacts already gathered, um, you can spawn into this area and get all these artifact spots here and go past 100 artifact spots. There is an artifact spot off to the right here that I showcased before that you could also include into this area if you wanted to. So I guess 22 artifact spots here if you wanted to make that slight adjustment. Um, but yes, we are starting off with the Tanuki here because again, uh, these Tanukis do not reveal their investigation spots if you've gone past the 100 artifact limit so make sure to uh reach exactly 99 if you're truly trying to maximize the number of artifacts you can get in a day uh try to get 99 artifacts and then do the tanuki for 100 and then you'll be able to uh maximize the uh, artifact spots you can get in this area so for the sake of this video, I'm just investigating the spots that do give artifacts. But when you do this on your own account, um, after you pass the 100 artifact spot limit, um, you can just investigate all the spots. You don't have to specifically just target the artifact spots if you wanted to. Um, again, you can go past 100 investigation spot limit. So it doesn't matter if you investigate spots that give you artifacts, that give you energy, that give you fruit, vegetables, whatever. Um, so in reality, you don't need to be super careful about uh, which spots you end up investigating here. If uh, this is the spot you teleport into in order to go past 100 investigation spots. Uh, as you can see here, there's a ton of a ton of investigation spots that you can uh, pick up here, right? A lot of them I'm skipping. Um, but yeah, Tatarasuna is uh, notorious for having a ton of investigation spots. Like this one, these two right here I'm going to skip over. But again, in theory, if you're over that 100 investigation spot cap, feel free to just investigate anything. You don't need to be super careful. Um, but again, just for the sake of this video, I'm just investigating the spots that give artifacts. 
So if you plan on doing exactly that, using this area to go past 100 investigation spots, uh, you can kind of just remember the general route of this, but maybe you don't need to be super careful about like which investigation spots give you artifacts or not. Um, it's totally up to you. But again, feel free to just go crazy, pick up any investigation spots here. Uh, it shouldn't matter if you're if you're going over 100 investigation spots. And yeah, I didn't mention this before, but uh, make sure to be careful about these uh, these things here. I, I forget what they're called, electrogranums or whatever. Um, <laughs> they can be quite finicky to deal with. Also, there's a uh, couple electro crystal flies there that spawn uh, when you walk over that area in the bridge. So uh, if you want to pick them up. And uh, we'll be wrapping up this area right here, going to the final investigation spot. Uh, this is the spot that we revealed with the cannon uh, at the very beginning. Uh, there was a point. There was a point to uh, launching that cannonball. But yeah, right here is the last spot for this area. And uh, we are done. I think that's, uh, what, 21, 22 artifact spots. And now we are moving on to the next area. So same deal here. You can teleport into this area before you hit the cap on the investigation spot limit. And all of these artifact spots you'll be able to pick up. Um, I think this area has... Uh, let me do a quick check here. It has 30 artifact spots, so a little bit better uh, than the previous area. And I think these artifact spots are a lot more condensed. So generally, it'll be a bit quicker to pick up all these spots as well. So a little bit better than the previous spot. A thing to note with this area is that it does have two Tanukis here. Um, and so I, we're, we're going to come across them in just a little bit. But if you are going to try to maximize the artifact spots in this area, you're going to want to do the Tanukis first. So th there's two Tanukis, so make sure to get, uh, what, 98 artifact spots and then do these uh, two Tanukis here. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, they're right here. These two, they're back to back. So if you're trying to maximize this area, just make sure to teleport here first do these two tanukis and then do the rest of the area uh, they should all be active and this is why you need either an anemo or electro character to activate this uh this fake totem i'm using causeway here this world electro that i pick up from that uh uh Sealy. and then um we're back to the uh the next tanuki here yeah, honestly, even though I do like Wander for uh, for artifact routes, I mean, Diluc is pretty good for these Inuzuma routes because of the fact that he's Pyro to activate this uh, Tanuki here and also Claymore. Uh, and also, he's uh, the tall male character model, so uh, he's able to cover a lot of ground while sprinting. So we're heading down into this ship here, and this is where the mother load of all artifact spots are. As you can see, we're already coming across five here. And just like Tatarasuna, the previous uh, area, it can be very confusing as I uh, cap on my artifact inventory once again. Uh, but it can be very confusing to know which investigation spots you want to pick up, right? You're, we're ignoring those two. There, I mean, there's so many like sparkly <laughs> bits here that uh, you kind of have to uh, ignore uh, but again if you're using this spot to go past 100 investigation spots you should just be able to pick up all these investigation spots without having to worry about picking up specifically the artifact ones um, this ship is great because they're also condensed um, and so this is a fantastic ending spot to your daily artifact route and that is it. 30 possible artifact spots in this area. Uh, so make sure to reach, what, 98 artifact spots and then teleport into this area. Do the two Tanukis. 
and then you'll be able to get, in theory, 128 artifact spots instead of the, uh, the 100 you're allowed to get in a day. But yes, thank you for watching, and hopefully soon I'll be able to do some research and give you all the artifact spots in Sumeru, which might, I mean, it might be an hour long. I don't, I don't know how long that video is going to be, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.